Today's video is about fractions. We actually have a deck of fraction cards like this from our math curriculum. We keep this in our manipulatives caddy, but our go-to for games is our favorite Uno cards because they are the easiest to grab from our shelf. Hi, I'm Leanne and I want to inspire families to learn through play. So if that's something that you are interested in, make sure to subscribe. Today's game helps kids practice fractions of different denominators. We are just using the numbered UNO cards, but if you've got a regular deck of playing cards, that will do too. For this game, you'll want to take out all the zeros or make sure that your players understand that they will be used as the tens denominator. So like regular war, we cut a deck of well shuffled cards in two for each player. You may want to give each player a pencil to place horizontally in front of their playing area as a divider. Both players should turn over the top two cards and then for beginners, place the larger number below the pencil to be the denominator and the smaller number above as the numerator. Then players compare to see who has the larger fraction and he wins the round, taking all four cards into their winning pile. So here player one has two and six, so two will be the numerator and six the denominator. Player two has five as the numerator and seven as the denominator. There are a few ways to have players compare fractions. It can help to have a fraction reference sheet handy. I've actually found that cutting these fraction reference sheets to be really helpful so that learners can take individual units to make the fraction and compare it to another fraction that might not have been listed next to each other on the sheet. We also stick magnets to the back of our fraction reference sheets and that way we can keep them organized on a metal sheet. The other way to do it is to multiply the fractions to find a common denominator and then multiply the numerator by the same factor. So we can see here that player 2 has the larger fraction and wins this round. Now player 1 has 3 out of 8 and player 2 has 6 out of 9. Let's check with the fraction reference sheet. We can see that player 2 has won this round too. Let's do one more. Player 1 has 4 out of 9 and player 2 has 3 out of 9. They are the same denominator so we can see immediately that player 1 has the larger fraction and wins this round. The game ends when the deck runs out and the player with the most cards wins the game. If you want to encourage your learners to have more fun with fractions, check out our video on Blobby's Pizza here or in the description box below. Thanks for watching, I hope you get to try this game soon and I will see you in the next video. Yay!